and now they get rid of it. So yeah. let's see how. And I love this as well. Oh, the, ne the necro it, pickup. It's the best counter for a specter. You don't have the weaver. Weaver is the only one that saves you from the necro. Necro is like the late game counter for the specter. And look at the heroes that are banned from a VP. Now, when you said a weaver is the only one that saves you, I would hardly, I, I would disagree. There are heroes yeah, that can't Oracle save you, and but, but they're banned out. Oracle and Shadow Demon. So for necro. Is there anyone else in the Oracle? Oracle band? band I band just band. said it. <laughs> <laughs> just as it happens. <laughs> yeah, is there anyone else that can save you versus him? There isn't really. I, I, mean, I guess Omni Knight or something similar, yeah. but Abaddon that can heal you up. But it's those heroes really aren't picked that much. Why I don't like uh, the... Oracle and the Shadow Demon with the Spectre is because Spectre wants to get in. He wants to be inside of a fight. If an Oracle or a Shadow Demon start running towards a fight, they are going to die. Weaver is different <laughs> because he is mobile, he is yeah. he can uh, evade uh, everyone and then he can save you. I, I love this. Like yeah. big themes, you know. They don't have to counter your even if you did counter their core with yours, they're gonna be like, okay. We don't have these saving graces, saving opportunities for, for the Reaper side of Necrophos and what he brings to the table. Now we're going to counter the Necrophos itself and the way he wants to play. So they go for the Ancient Apparition, uh, stopping that healing, stopping, like, it's very difficult for a Necro to play versus him. You have to itemize differently. You can't go for that Radiance early on. You need a defensive item. You need that, let's say, Hood or uh, BKB even, something that you really don't want to buy on a Necro. So uh, it throws the hero off pace. Necro mm -hmm. can be really strong if you win the laning stage and then slowly snowball around him. But in the mid game already, you have two global, three global three spells globals. right now. Yeah. You have Furion, you have Spectre, you have Ancient Apparition. This is your global team right here. They need, uh, it's a meme by the way, it's a meme draft. It, a long time ago you would draft now Zeus, Zeus. right? And what else? Is th there has to be a fifth. Is I there anything? Know. Clockwork comes Clockwork to mind. The <laughs> <laughs> but uh, either way, uh, those three heroes, they work really well together and they're really good. I mean, AA is solid against the Necro. So it's not like the AA is there just to complement their heroes with the global strat. Yeah. It's Won't actually good with the Necro as well. So they go with the Pango. I mean, it's a solid hero. Mm -hmm. Gives them team fight, gives them tower defense in the beginning. Uh, I also like having these kind of heroes that, because Grimstroke is just gonna get destroyed by the global ulties. On the other hand, Pango, even if it's a support, which it doesn't have to be, he can move around and he has his ulti to survive. And that's <coughs> where what Spectre doesn't like, that's what Furion doesn't like. They like these slow supports as a Grimstroke, they just come at you and you die. You, you actually don't do anything. So, kind of like the approach of Team Spirit, I think they're gonna have more of these heroes that actually cannot be brought down just by pure power of the of the global... One huge difference yesterday that Wizards Pro had, uh, in difference to this draft, is they had that beef on the offlane resolution. Also this, they needed a reliable disable. Let's just touch a little bit on the shaker. Uh, they needed a reliable disable with these heroes, right? If, if actually any sort of a stun was necessary, shaker definitely brings that to the table. Opens up your draft a little bit too. This Furion suddenly is completely capable of being that position three. Also can be mid if, if necessary. Um, but they are still lacking beef. You have these three heroes that are extremely squishy. Yeah, the global presence is there, but if you get caught, it's and even in the team fights, it's very hard to um, commit, right? Mm -hmm. You can start with a haunt. Yesterday, Alti, we he played really well with the Spectre in a way that he haunts first. Not something that you always see from your position one. He's the one that initiates. However. Boy. He would always have that follow-up from the Centaur, from the Axe, from something like that. This hero that brings a lot of utility, uh, your Crimson Guards, your Pipes, your Mechs. Right now, they don't have any of that. And that's something somewhat of a downside of this versus Pro's draft. I mean, you can go that with the Furion, I guess. Yeah, you can go for the utility, yeah. but you don't. You still lack the beef. You don't have the beef, the beef yeah. yeah. Exactly. I mean, then the Spectre is going to have to take that role, I guess. Though for Team Spirit, I like their approach. They go for the Void Spirit. You have these supports that if you get on top of their heads, they are not as strong as if they are actually mm -hmm. in a safe place, right? So I like the Void Spirit. I was suspect suspecting them to go for something like Kariki if they wanted to 
uh, attack the enemy or if they wanted to like stay back a little bit to go for a troll because he will win the lane against the nature's prophet mm. and the Earthshaker. he goes in for an early bkb is really good in the late game against the specter so Ricky, i think ricky versus furion on the lane right versus yeah, yeah. those trees he has so such ricky a high armor down, yeah. it would be really cool and also ricky yesterday it was picked by prodigy uh, versus the Spectre to counter it because mm -hmm. he's your hunting type of a carry. He goes yeah. in deep, finds her, then the follow-up happens. The problem in this game, though, is you wouldn't win the lane versus him. And then he'd have that defusal very early on and you wouldn't be able to handle that. Yesterday, they had ways of dealing with him early on. And Team Spirit, they also lacked some beef. They also lacked some frontline. Uh, Necro is decent, but versus a Ancient, it's not really that great. Now they pick up this Raid King. Um, it puts them a little bit on a tempo. Uh, definitely the win condition for Virtus Pro is higher. You have the Spectre that will eventually just win, win you the game. Um, but I've seen drafts such as these two play out before. And it can pretty go either way. ILTW, I believe that was actually him. He played the Spectre into a Raid King. No one was playing Storm on the middle lane. And uh, they almost threw it. Even playing versus a Raid King, they almost lost that match. Ra it was that dieback from the Spectre on the tier 3 with Raid King stunning her, if you guys remember. It was here on this league. Um, so Raid King can definitely take this game, but they're on a tempo. They need to do it fast. What's VP going to look for to answer this then? Uh, so they some, need some beef. Uh, <sighs> they need something that can fight early on while the Shaker is taking his dagger. So yeah. li like a DK yeah, comes to mind. I don't know if it's banned. Something along those that can push towers and then Furion TPs in that can actually go with the Furion so that the Shaker can farm his dagger. Uh, uh, yeah, beef maybe is not the best way to go about it because it's the mid lane. So your quops are in the pool still. Something that crushes the Void Spirit in the laning stage. Uh, it's... The the downside of this Virtus Pro's draft right now for me is it has too many Invoker. checkboxes that need to be checked. They go for an Invoker, and I love this because it's the way they adapted yesterday as well to their drafts. They put no one in this uh, position in which he's completely space creating. He's your playmaker, complete playmaker. He isn't greedy at all, and because of that, you will have this Fury on with a lot of utility. You'll go Quaswex on the Invoker, which is really good versus uh, the Necro as well, versus the Raid King as well. The only question is how will the lane go versus Void Spirit? No, I don't know how the lane goes versus Void Spirit because we haven't seen a lot of Invokers since the Void Spirit mm -hmm. actually came to, to place, but I guess he's going to be fine. He can purge the shield. It's not going to be too bad. Yep. Though I like the approach for Virtus Pro. Don't go for a beefy hero against the Necro. That's definitely the right choice. On the other hand, this Invoker really needs to do a lot of work. He does run around the map. But it's good. It, these two drafts are really good and they both have their strengths. Who's yeah, going to yeah, win? Yeah. They have their win conditions. Yeah. Both, both of them. I, I love this because you see Virtus Pro. They, uh, if their lanes don't go very well, mm. they will have to adopt these guerrilla tactics, the rat tactics, how Alliance <laughs> likes to do it. You need to split push constantly with your Nature's Prophet. You need to find these small pickoffs on the side of Team Spirit. If the lanes go well for them, you'll have this fat Void Spirit that will constantly be able to fight. Raid King to follow him up. Pango doesn't need a lot. There's definitely ways to win this game for both of these teams. I don't see a clear outdraft. It's 50-50. Nice. But Virtus Pro is more experienced. Yep. And usually when you're more exper experienced, it's easy to find that space and to split push. So just give me the team name. Who do you think is going? and take this one. Uh, I'll go with Virtus Pro. I'll go with Spirit. Oh, go with okay. GPK. Just They've go with GPK. It. <laughs> Team GPK. No, no, I can't. Necro against the Spectre, that's to me like the best matchup we can have, even against an AA. I really like the hero. Well, it's time for us to get into the boys, uh, to the game, boys. But thank you very much for all of your time on discussing this one. We've got Toby and Lacoste to bring you the action. And Toby, I know you don't listen to the desk, so I'm going to start with Lacoste. Lacoste, who do you agree with on our analysts here? Steymar Lacoste, by the way. Kakavsim. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know if uh, our panel realized that it's a position 5 Necro. They swapped things oh, around. Uh -huh. Oh, they did not actually. Wait, what What, what are they doing? <laughs> 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 let's get into the game, guys. Let's make it happen. Let's see how this goes down. Sure. Let, let's, let's go into the game. We're booted up like the Game Boys that we are, and I'm always listening. It's just selective hearing. Uh, so so well, what is actually is, happening in my car? Well, what it is, is actually, actually position five necro? So I was yeah. looking at the 
the heroes and the players who are playing it, Misha playing Necro, just mm -hmm. has a headdress and a shared tango, plus one of his own. Yeah. I guess one of the reasons why they decided to do it is, I mean, you're playing against AA, you're playing against Invoker with the spell, with a ton of magical damage, so they just decided to shift it towards position 5. Mm -hmm. Do you get... Uh... Do you get as much use out of the Necro in a five position? No. Like, how, <laughs> like, like, right? Okay. I mean, maybe a bad question to ask. Like, it's a headrest in the death pulse for for regeneration. So I guess AA is not going to mess with him that early on. To stay in the offlane should be pretty good from that. Yes, it's just to sustain in the laning stage some harassment, extra region for himself and the laning partner. I don't know. I'm, I'm just getting death profit position five vibes when I see this Necro. Like, uh -huh. I'm gonna do nothing, you know, try to split push by some time, even though sometimes, very rarely, it's effective. I don't know. I he's just... he's here for the Reaper Scythe combo with the with the Soulbind of Grimstroke. Um, that's the player, right? That, that 49 damage. <laughs> so, so you, just pump it out, Misha. Pump it out. Hit whatever you possibly can. It is a good combo with the Grimstroke, of course. But I'm just afraid that he's not going to have a game. I, I don't know. I, I've seen those stuff in the high MMR matches. Usually it does not work. It's one of those, uh, you know, I'm going to adjust. They have way too many counters. I'm going to play position five, do nothing. Yep. Um. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Is the other lane we kind of want to keep our? Well, okay. Well, top lane also. Wraith King dropping pretty low. Oh no, Necro bottom lane. Oh really? No, he, this can't be his way to die. Not in the trees. ILTW gets the first blood onto the safe lane Spectre, and he might have another follow up up on top. The uh, Fidget's coming off cooldown in one second time, and the Wraith King has nothing to work with. He doesn't have stuns available. Resolution will keep these treants on him. And I think now, this that's is the wrong way. I believe the base is in a different direction. Uh, sometimes you just get turned around. The magnetic pull on the northern side, it's pulling the wrong way. Well, he was buying time, and Immersion was controlling the wave. Uh, immersion, to, oh, immersion's immersion dying. <laughs> the Fisher blocks him in with the treants. Oh, God. That's the easiest uh, second and third kill of VP's life that Resolution can pick up. And look at this. Look at how much pressure they're putting on the Raid King. They could also pop a Glyph. Another set of Treants. They drop him so low. That's when you start to burn burn any kind of mana that you've worked towards. We, we were we kind of said at the very end of it, like, like what's the speed the Spirit can play to play nice and early? It's like, if you can get early items on this Raid King, maybe you can pressure, but now it feels like he's going to be nothing. Zyx already pulled the wave down. So there's not even farm for the Wraith King there. He's sitting at 1,000 net worth to Resolution's 1,300. And that's the 1v3 position. And now Zyx denied the whole creep wave and farmed one for himself. So they shared a bit of a, you know, gold in the lane. How's mid doing? 15-3 against 13-1. and one. Like, no one has a way of dispelling that shield, but you just don't want to pop it. It's not like it's very important early on. Mm -hmm. It's just some harassment and the damage. Right. Using Tornado 150 mana is a bit too much. Yeah. It's expensive. And GPK is going to get... like As uh, Lizard was kind of saying before, like, he's he's a superstar player. Everybody wants to try and pick him up. Esmersion, everyone wants to try and survive. They just keep the range. Throw out the Fisher. The easiest kill of, of their life. I, I It's... It's like you can't even battle this at all. In fact, Wraith King's just getting even more controlled. He's down to one Tango. He went two points up in the Vampiric Aura. No points in the Wraith Fire Blast. It's like, I just need to try and survive underneath my own tower. Give me my regeneration, please, tower. This is the yeah. combo. You use Ink Swell into Vampiric Aura. Wait, oh, that's solid, not a combo. Solid lost his Courier. Courier. That's the first kill here from Team Secret. Uh, Team Spirit. The other team that's actually still play playing. Your anger is useless here. Uh, <laughs> I want to see what this Necro does. What is he bringing? I'm keeping eyes on him. Magic stick without any kind of stats. Like, he's dropping so low. Usually Spectre does not like to play into Necro, like the farm Necro that can stand in the front lines. Heartstopper Aura just melts. 
Spectre mm -hmm. also doesn't, you know, love to be full HP all the time. Spectre always jiggling, always trying to, you know, get the most out of it. So she's going to be low HP. And this is where Necro's Reaper side is good. On a core Necro, once again. Top lane. Man, yeah, they're, they're just destroying this top. Another another salve has to be burnt. Grimmer Story has got no more regeneration, but at least look at the ink swell off. Maybe, yep, hits on the stun. Curry is also on the way in, but it's all for the five minute bounty runes. Zayek will take the damage, and that means he'll pick up both the bounty runes for VP on top. On middle, however, I'm wondering if no one wants to rotate over. That's what Misha can do. He can walk and pick up bounty runes. Objective complete. 280 movement speed on the hero. It feels so slow. If you just look at the numbers, like my hero is so slow, but yesterday I realized other heroes are slow as well. <laughs> like others got hit by a nerf hammer. I'm just slowing the pace down of Dota in general. I think uh, Pango might be a little annoyed he didn't hit that swashbuckle on the low ancient apparition. He can now just tango back up again. Very safe. Feels like very low risk ex execution here from Virtus Pro to keep the status quo. But do we then look at Void Spirit? Like he's just hit six, Invoker's hit six. No contest for the bottom room, but it's all going to be up on top. And Zayek's already on top of that with the arcane. Look at Raid King's build 0 2 2. Like, you know this skill is garbage when people are not even skilling it in the laning stage. <laughs> no, nope. Zero, two, three. Uh, just total, totally skipping it. Like, we need the... I don't even know if you can push with that. Like, it's... Uh, he understands that Skelly Bros are way to come back into this game. Like, it's a mm -hmm. farming tool. There's no point in getting a raid oh, fire. Another miss jump from Pangalia. That's gonna really hurt. Fury see resolution TPing in. Immersion knows that's problem. Misha trapped inside the Sprout. Pango would like his own farm, but he's got 11 one charges available to fight too. So they force Grimstroke to TP to the bottom lane. Still lose Necro. I guess that's nothing of real value lost. ES got more space up on top, and resolution just TP straight back to the top lane. And Wraith King has gone bush. He's uh, currently checking out the different types of bark. They're getting so much out of the map right now. Versus bro, like no one is farming on the mid lane. Top lane, Earthshaker was left alone for a, uh, you know, 30 plus seconds. So he's getting his items, getting his levels. Wraith King is going to be in jungle, so they can also try to contest this. They have They're a very right. mobile heroes. Immersion set again. Easy movement from no one means he can just get the tornado, send him up and towards the air, and now there's no stun available for immersion. That's another one of those things you got to keep tabs on. You think you're going to get that stun and tornado gets rid of Inkswell? Yes. Another way of dispelling things. Invoker just got a first earn charge, so there's much more kill potential on him. Like they need to use GPK to come back into this game. None of the lanes are going well. They also need. Level 6 on Pangolier. Misha should stay out of the XP range on the bottom lane. To so give him that level 6, then they can kill AA or make a rotation and try to kill the top lane. But top lane already gone. Mm -hmm. Resolution's pushed it too hard, too fast. There is a haste stream for GPK. Uh, he can work with the merchant to try and get this kill on Resolution. It seems like the best kill to claim. ES is busy pulling the Dire Creep Wave further on the side, but with Resolution isolated. A quick Astral step forward. Resolution knows he can't get away from the stun. With an easy jump with the Dissimulate, Resolution is brought down, and that's what they needed. Team Spirit. Get some Good kills and probably more, more into Voice Spirit, not Immersion, though. Like, Necro is your position 5. That didn't achieve much in the laning stage, can't make any rotation, so they're relying on level 6 on both of their supports to be efficient. Like a Grim Stroking Spell is dispellable as we saw. But Pango needs to be 6, like Pango and Void Spirit need dead. to carry them. He is so close to having his level 6, but I don't think that would have helped anyway. You I, love this from, I love this from Wraith King, like he's trying to find so much bush tucker, he's like, I can build a Radiance. Uh, this is what I can do with my 0-3-3 build on the Wraith King. Not even not even storing. Actually, no, he's, he's storing a point now for, for reincarnation. 
just in case. <laughs> and they are also playing into Colossus Invoker. So your ult is not gonna be like they they just got completely countered in the laning stage. They had to adapt with this Necron position five, which was not very effective and yeah, you can burn my mana. I don't even use my mana. I have like Mortal Strike, which costs 70, so I'm pretty good. <laughs> mm -hmm. So always make sure you get 160 and you're going to be okay. ES is coming over. Look to try and take out the outpost and uh, front of being planted. Psych knows he can't t take a fight, but oh, maybe he can. In focus here, resolutions here, and the double fish is done. GPK. Where do you want to jump down to? He's still on top of the Fissure. At least he's able to connect on the Inkswell stun, meaning no one doesn't keep the battle going. Not through the shields, at least. Let's go, Necro. Level 5. <laughs> Just needs a bit more experience to get himself to level 6. Has Dome of Knowledge queued up. Huge. Problem is, you can't, and Grimstroke steals it from him. Like, dude, you're not buying this in this game. It, it's mine. <laughs> you're, you're useless. <laughs> Your ult is nothing without me. <laughs> it's another player who's uh, holding that point. See if he needs to bind all the silence. As you know, he just went 3 0 3. This is a team with no ultis. They literally have two ultis 11 minutes in. <laughs> no, at least Ancient, Ancient Apparition doesn't have his yet. They need to give him the mid while yeah. on bottom lane. Smoke rotation's gonna come in. They need the... Uh, in. Yep, okay. I'm they gone. need to keep him mid controlled. Lane. Where's the stun? They go mid lane. Now it's Wraith King who dies. Oh, Team Spirit. They set the trap. They wanted the kill. Unfortunately, no one was home when they tried to rob the place. The funniest part would be if ELTW got that kill on Wraith King. Like, you try to gank Spectre, she gets a return kill. Bang now low. they fight. He's very Bang. low. He's going into the Rolling Thunder. Start the fight at one third HP. That's how he wants to do it. ILTW moving up the river. A jump forward from the Void Spirit. Now a jump back out again. The Fissure will be able to connect. GPK trapped inside the Sprout. Ice Blast is coming in. It's going to be off target. Or is it Pango? He's just... Oh, he walked back nice. into it. He was walking the edge of the Glacier. Oh. Ah, it's just Mango. falling apart for Team Spirit. Mango, Mango. Let's go again. Solo, a little bit too far forward. Then again, Voice Spirit actually jumps up and goes over for no one. The Reaper side. Hey, me did something. It's huge. It's massive. It's a kill on the captain. Meanwhile, he's going to die. And uh, probably the rest of Team Spirit. Uh, <laughs> Grimstroke just got caught out by no one. There's a big creep wave moving over. Zai's going to give the reveal and no one stands his ground. Under alacrity with with uh, attack speed of 70, damage of 10. Just keeps hitting. How far is Raid King from that Radiance? He switched. He's going for Blade, blade Mail. mail. Alright. You, you got, got, you gotta buy you like any timing? kind of damage items. Any kind of cheap items that you can fight with because right now this is not working. It's 300 gold to the Blink Dagger of ES. And Zyx now taking a double stack to help just push him the last bit of the way. Fights have already been horrendous for Team Spirit once so that's up. Like, you're gonna get jumped so hard. Full Spirit Vessel completed as well for no one. Resolution's already beating him uh, to the punch with the Blade Mail. <laughs> he's, he's picked up his own, going for the mid lane. The attack to come from Grimstroke. Maybe they get a little of extra control as the jump forward is there from GPK. Able to connect on the Ink Swap, oh, but the Ice Blast man. is gonna hit so hard. And yes. All right, just walk up and nail him. That's all you need to do. This Rolling Thunder hasn't done enough work. No more Fissure available. So they at least can't get the instance on the Pangalier. Oh, I, I always love to think how Team X can come back into this game. It's tough. Like, I, <laughs> to be honest, I don't see the way right now. Versus Pro is just controlling the whole map. They have global presence with these three heroes or just Invoker. Could be the fourth one setting things up from the invis with following it up. A mm -hmm. ulti spectre ulti nature profit with their ulti or just teeping. But let's go back to Necro. What is he building? Tranquil boots. Okay. Oh. Uh, it's something. It's not nothing. <laughs> Invoker haste ruined up looking for a target. They don't have anything. Necro wishes. 
that his aura worked on ancients like you know a couple of years ago then you could stack and kill the ancients with it man how broken was that <laughs> it's probably as broken as the spirit of spirit smoke maneuver from Virtus pro they're looking for their own fight A resolution can at least keep the mid at bay where all the minions are coming. Tornado flies for Grimstroke. Here comes your Ice Blast too. There's your Blink Dagger from Zyg. Ice Blast hits perfectly on the Pangolier. So resolution, a couple of hits, and Pango will go down. Not to mention, ILTW joins the fight just as the Spectral Horn comes off cooldown. That's when the initiation happens. 20 to 2 on the board. Oh my god, if this just keeps up, Spirit may actually just GG out before a tier 2 tower even falls. Yeah, I would not be surprised if Team Spirit just calls GG in the next fight. They lose next fight and they just call it. They understand that they have no comeback into this game. Yep. Like right now it's 97% win probability for Virtus Pro. They are in the driver's seat. And the foot is down on the gas. And they want to step it up even more. I love this from Resolution. It's like, alright, I'll, I'll build into a Vlad's. Vlad's, Blade Mal. Just get everyone together. You're getting a Solar Crest style build coming in from no one to go with this Spirit Vessel. Echo is coming off cooldown. An ILTW. I don't even know if he still needs to keep going for this Radiance. He can even go for more combat early style builds, but... Uh, may as well. You're 16 minutes in, why not? Also, they have superior vision. Oh, the Echo! Oh, man. It hits everything, and the Ice Blast. Goodbye, Immersion. Goodbye, GPK. Hello, Misha. But also, goodbye, Misha. Uh... A lot of get well soon cards being sent to Team Spirit. Maybe they can kill off the Earthshaker with GPK buying back into this fight. He needs something. He's got both the supports. He has that. They just profit. Having to try and hide instead of the own Sprout. TPing out with the scroll. And the... Uh, oh, the boy <laughs> actually <laughs> really? helped him. Oh, Ancient just a level prowlers. I'll oh, kill them. I'll no, kill them. You and skeletons. Kill those Prowlers. Oh, it's the level one reincarnation trigger. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's the correct word, trigger. I think Raid King is very triggered right now. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Hey, hey, but Team Spirit, they're finding kills. It's on the supports, for sure. They would have liked to have actually claimed a bigger core. Man, are they actually getting two solar... They're getting two yes. solar crests on Virtus Pro now. Hmm, interesting. Not the build that you expect on Invoker. The slow is great. But I don't think you need to. It also opens up the Roche for them with Nature's Prophet. Like, the only physical damage they have is Raid King, Pangolier, Swashbuckle, reducing armor with Lucky Shot. But I think they're, I'd say, overthinking about the items here. Mm -hmm. well, resolution started on Roshan. <laughs> Everyone's coming over. And right now, Team Spirit's like, well, what do you want to do about this? They're all on the eastern front. There's no way they get there in time. And if they, even if uh, Team Spirit do come, they'll come under vision. And there's no smoke available. And that's it. That's, that's Roshan, 18 minutes into the game. They're still trying to farm up Wraith King. He's 1100 away from completing his Radiance. I mean, Radiant's timing is going to be okay, -ish, considering how this, how bad this game is going. Yeah. Hey, he's, he'll have Radiance before Spec, uh, sort of, maybe. Actually, no. There's a lot of farm on bottom lane. Spectre's about to take and claim that Radiance. That Spectre <laughs> has Out over on the, on the mid, GPK, a little bit too far out. The Ice Blast will fly forward. Means he only gets chilled. And then Spectre into the back lines. They're focusing on the Necroforce once again. Down to 50% of HP. Same for the Grimstroke. Ice Wall gets planted. So Necro can't keep running out this one. Even buffing up the Spectre with Alacrity. The bigger kill really was claimed. It's GPK. But you know, we like watching Misha. <laughs> That's the... Highlighted hero of this game. Bottom lane, hey. they, they will catch Raking. He does not have reincarnation. Just got TP delivered, but he's dead. <laughs> One more. Fisher will do it. <laughs> 26 to 4. Not too shabby at 1.5 ki kills a minute. 
And Resolution will, will keep the push going on bottom lane. Remove these down, down towers. Observer has been planted, so uh, Resolution sees everything he needs to. Lice lays Grimstroke. The Ice Blast are coming in, but Wrath of Nature connects first. And sure, he'll take his Vampire Fangs while he's in the neighborhood. They just want to make Raid King's life miserable. Look at the build the Major's Prophet. He's going to Fusal Blade. Fusal Blade. <laughs> it's like, hey, oh, wait, you're going Solar Crest. Oh, 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 okay. I guess I'll go Diffusal on a range hero. So that's the second way to burn his mana. And he's nowhere near level 20. He's level 12 only. Hey, where's, where's that beautiful win condition? <laughs> it's currently uh, being worked on Necro into the Ghost Round, able to get himself away to safety. Level 1 Ray Fire Blast is up. I, I just was... checked. It's Healing Spectre. If you use it, it actually is Healing Spectre. She has 57% magical resistance from Nether Shawl and Hood. <laughs> They're going to get it on Wraith King. Hey, he's got Reincarnation available, but now the EMP burns it, and now it's gone. Ice Blast will fly in. That'll connect on Misha as well as Immersion. So ILTW keeps the fight going. This is over. This is over. Mercy, please throw in the towel. Apollo, he doesn't want to take any more. GG is called. Virtus Pro in 20 minutes have won this game, but really it was in five. Oh, this was some serious ass beating by Virtus Pro.